Are you tired of being overweight? Are you tired of trying different diets and nothing seems to really stick? It may work for some time, but then you're back to square one. It can be very discouraging when that happens. And I got a video coming up for you guys here going over how to take the weight off and keep the weight off. If you'd like to learn how, stay tuned. If you're here, it means that you're currently frustrated or have been frustrated with your progress or lack of progress that you've had recently trying to lose some weight that you've accumulated over time um, or you're just new to fitness and health in general. So this video is going to highlight how to go over losing those extra pounds and making sure that you keep those pounds off your body and adopt a new lifestyle. Okay, so this, this video is going to be broken up into three segments. The first segment is going to be going over nutrition, adopting the proper diet and the proper nutrition and just going over um, the correct foods to eat and how much of it to eat, right? So this is actually the biggest part of it. So I'm gonna be spending the most amount of time going over this particular segment. So correct guys, nutrition. Nutrition is freaking huge. It's literally the majority of everything that we're talking about here. So um, I'm, I'm honestly gonna tell you here that uh, the main principle of losing weight overall is being in a caloric deficit, right? What I mean by that is um, everybody has a set amount of calories that they need to consume on a daily basis to just stay alive and function normally, right? So let's say, um, for example, let's say, uh, let's say my maintenance is 2,000, right? So that's the exact amount of calories I need to consume on a daily basis just to stay alive, just to think, breathe, whatever, right? Um, so if I want to increase my weight or increase my muscle, etc., I need to eat in a surplus. So I need to eat more calories than what I'm already um, at my maintenance, right? So I'd be considering 300 to 400 extra calories. But if I want to lose weight, which is what we're trying to do here, then we obviously want to be in a caloric deficit, meaning um, under your maintenance, right? So if 2000 is our maintenance, then we want to hack into it and chop down maybe two to 300 to begin. Um, and then after some time period, we can increase the deficit into maybe a 400 or 500 if we want to get really crazy with it, which I don't really recommend doing if you're just starting out. Um, so that's going to be going over the nutritional portion here. So we want to make sure that we're consistent and very uh, aware of our calorie consumption. Uh, that's the biggest problem with people who are trying to lose weight is everybody thinks that, hey, I'm eating healthy, right? So I'm eating uh, my avocados, I'm eating my toast, my oatmeal, uh, my, my beans, my rice, all this good stuff. Um, but it's too much of the good stuff, right? So too much of the good stuff is kind of counterintuitive, not really doing a whole lot with it. It's kind of turning into a bad thing at that point because you're, there's still calories, right? There's still a nutritional value to them that um, is excessive and you just don't need it overall. So um, the key to it is making sure that you eat those good foods in the correct amounts, right? So the way we do that is by tracking our macronutrients. So what are our macronutrients? got our proteins, our carbs, and our fats. Those are the main macronutrients. And then we have our micros, which we're not gonna get into right now. Um, but the main focus right now is your macronutrients. So the reason I don't really uh, recommend doing diets or any specific kind of a, a get, get cut, get ripped fast type of a scenario is just because uh, it's not sustainable, right? So those kind of diets only work for maybe like two, three weeks, month, two month, um, yes, they, they may work, but at what cost, right? You're unhappy, you're not able to sustain that lifestyle. So two months out, are you really gonna be happy just eating consistently just chicken, rice, and, and whatever else you're eating, right? So doing that over and over again is not sustainable. It's not a, a good way of living your life, honestly. Nobody is happy doing that. It's gonna interfere with your personal life. So the idea of what I do or what helped me get to this from this is simple, uh, tracking your macronutrients, adopting the if it fits your macros lifestyle. Super simple, it basically allows you to eat whatever you want as long as it fits your daily caloric needs, your daily macro and caloric needs, right? So up here is your calories, your total calories, you got your, 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 your macros under it, you got your proteins, carbs and fats, that's what's it's composing all your calories for the day, right? So as long as you're hitting those numbers, which obviously is gonna be a lower number than your maintenance, so it's very small amounts. Uh, as long as you're hitting those numbers through the day, you wanna get enough just to make sure that you're maintaining your muscle mass and you're not losing muscle mass because you don't wanna turn skinny fat. So we wanna make sure that we're consuming enough of the good stuff um, and not excessive amounts of the, the stuff we don't really need right now, right? Um, but every bit of the macronutrients are important. Uh, your fats are super important, your carbs are important, and your proteins are very, very important. I would never cut out any type of group of uh, foods from your diet 
just because of uh, you know the the essentials that are involved, uh, all the all the vitamins and minerals that you're missing out on if you start to you know consume too little fats or too little carbs. Um, that's why I don't really like those kind of diets, and it doesn't really work out, right? Unless you have some kind of dietary restriction and you're allergic to some sort of food, but otherwise I would not recommend doing that. And I would keep a really well balanced diet and just try to incorporate as much as you can of uh, the good things. You know, we all know what the good stuff is. My my theory is if it if it doesn't if it tastes good, it's probably not too good for you, right? So um, the good foods are normally mad tasting. You can make it sorta of alright and kind of balance things out a little bit. Uh, but that's my theory. So that's a very sustainable lifestyle. Adopting that new lifestyle is going to help you be able to lose weight and keep the weight off two months down the road. Um, because what happens is people will lose the, two, the, the, the weight in the two month frame with the bullshit fad diet. Then at that two month point, then they don't know what to do and they're just back to it. And then they're going to spiral right out of control because they're not trained to, to, to be able to hold that that, that, that restrictive diet that they're following, it's just not sustainable. It's not something that you would want to do, right? So that is why I firmly believe in counting your macros and tracking your calories on a daily basis. It's changed my entire life. Like I said, I'm going to put these photos up again and I'm going to continue to put these photos up. That is the difference between somebody who is not counting their macros and somebody who is counting their macros and maintaining a caloric deficit, right? So that, that's basically the biggest portion of this whole thing. I'm gonna be making a separate video just going over how to, um, first of all, uh, find your maintenance macros, how to find your caloric deficit zone, and how to find your caloric surplus zone. So this is gonna be a general video and just macronutrients overall. I'm gonna make it a simplified version. I'm not the most scientifically intelligent person when it comes to um, everything that we're talking about here. I'm fairly knowledgeable, but I, I would prefer to make it a little bit more um, simple so it's easier to digest for our our consumers here or our followers that are not too familiar with the topic. I don't want to lose you guys. So if uh, it becomes a little bit too complex, please leave a comment at the bottom. Just let me know, hey man, you're going too fast or there's a lot on that understanding here right now. So that'll help me out in terms of just making more content in the future, a little bit more easy to digest for you guys. So like I said, guys, the main thing, let's, let's backtrack here. Let's sum up the first portion of here. The first part about our uh, weight loss goal is nutrition, right? So counting your macros, tracking your calories, making sure that we're in a caloric deficit under our maintenance. That means under our maintenance, that means we're consuming less calories so that our body starts to use the stored fat as fuel as opposed to the calories, right? So that's huge. And last but not least, step three, um, the proper mindset. So the proper mindset goes a long way. So just the way you think, your mentality, how bad do you want it, right? Are you willing to wake up at five in the morning to go do your fasted cardio? Um, if you're not, then it might mean that you're not too serious about it, right? Or if, or, or if that's just not doable because your schedule, whatever it may be, um, are you willing to do your cardio session after your workouts? Are you even willing to go to the gym for the four to six days that were recommended? Are you willing to uh, you know, eat the proper foods? Are you willing to take time to track your foods, which is not a big deal? Are you willing to you know, count your calories, be uh, food conscious, uh, making the right decisions, uh, trying to get some rest, um, and just overall adopting this entire lifestyle and making this commitment? Are you willing to do that? So if your mind you said yes then fuck yeah you're on your way your first step is already done uh second step's already done third step's already done all you got to do now is just uh check those off the list and go do them right so then you're um on your way to your goals you know you're, you're gonna hit your goals regardless one way or another at that point there's no loss there's nothing to lose at this point i mean besides the fat but <laughs> aside from that there's like little to no chance of failure at this point like this is all science-based right so your, your, your chances of failing are 0.001 and if you do fail it's because you are half-assing it or you're not following everything that I've stated in this video if you follow everything I just stated in this video I swear on everything you will lose weight you're, 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 you'll, you'll hit your goals I'm, I'm serious dude like if you do everything I just said to you for the next at least two or three months or you know God, I don't even know man just if you don't hit your goals I will personally PayPal you a hundred dollars um, if you can prove that you you legitimately did everything that I said in this video and you did not lose a single pound uh, or adopt a better lifestyle, I will PayPal you $100. You got it. <laughs>
I, 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 there's nothing else to say, guys. There's no secret. Um, the reality of it, the reality of it is, this stuff is not um, supposed to be simple, right? It's not supposed to be the easiest thing to do. Uh, it, it wouldn't be as satisfying to achieve these goals if it was super simple to do and everyone was fit, if everyone was perfect. Um, if this was just as easy as eating one piece of chicken and going to the gym once a week, it would not be as satisfying or rewarding, right? So we want to be able to um, really break through and, and be part of that, you know, the small percentage of people who give a crap about themselves, who give a crap about uh, meeting their goals and just going above and beyond, right? So if you guys want to be a part of that train, awesome. Please continue to follow my channel. I'm going to be going over a ton of other things that I've learned through my time. Um, and just how I've evolved and I will continue evolving with the channel um, so hoping I get to meet more of you guys on here um, build a small community and if you guys like the content please make sure you subscribe like the video uh, follow me on Instagram at Romer underscore of underscore zeal company um, the link for that or the name and stuff is gonna be at the bottom in the description so please make sure you follow me on Instagram to keep up with everything I'm doing where I post um, some daily workouts some daily foods some daily tips uh, just a bunch of stuff that I do related to fitness on there. Um, so as I mentioned guys, this is a lifestyle. So everything that you do is pretty much about this at that point. Um, so yeah, awesome guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you made it to this portion of the video, thank you so much. It means that you give a crap and you are awesome. So kudos to you and you're one step closer to reaching your goals.